Okay, we've written another integral. We've got the integral from minus one to one of cosine x over e to the one over x plus one dx. And as you can see on the board, I already have the King's principle on the board, so we kind of know which method I'm gonna use. We wanna use this. The nice thing here is our bounds, this a to the b, our a value is minus one, our b value is one. Over here, when we use this, b plus a is just zero. So for this, in this case, that's pretty bad, but in this case, this is actually gonna be f of minus x. So we just need to plug in minus x here. So going ahead with this formula, what's gonna happen is our bounds stay the same with this. So we're gonna have, we're going from minus one to one. Then plugging in a minus x, we're gonna have, this is gonna become cosine minus x. E, I can bring the minus up front like this, e to the minus one over x plus one. But now because cosine is an even function, this minus sign isn't gonna do anything. So I can just get rid of that there. And then ultimately what I wanna do is I wanna add these two together. If I kind of label, let's label our original integral i. And then so everything over here is still i. But if I wanna add these two things together, what's gonna to help is if I get the same denominator and we're not, we're not quite there yet because we have this minus sign. So what I can try to do to fix this is let's just multiply in e to one over x e to one over x, so I'm just multiplying by one here. So when I do that now, in the numerator we get cosine x times e to the one over x. But then multiplying in here, that first term is gonna be a one, and then the second term is gonna be just e one over x. And so now what happened is we have the same denominator now, just in a different order. So now I can take these two and add them together. So doing this, what's gonna happen is now we're gonna have two copies of the integral, two i, and same denominator, I'm gonna put them together all in one integral, common denominator, one plus e one over x. And then adding together the numerators, what I can do is factor out a cosine x. And so when I do that, what's gonna happen is we have one copy here, so it's gonna be cosine x times one from this one, plus the e one over x here. But doing it that way, what we can do is this thing here, this is the same thing as this, so that cancels out. And now we're just integrating cosine. One thing I can do before we continue is, let's isolate what we want, which is our goal of i, divide by two here, we need to divide by two here. And then at this point, we can use this principle I have over here to the left, which is that if our f of x is an even function, which works here because cosine's even, and we have our bound symmetric around zero, just like minus one to one. So this principle works, it's gonna allow me to bring a two out front of the integral and reduce the lower bound to zero. So when we do that, we have our one half in front, we bring this two out, and now our integral is going from zero to one of the same thing, cosine x dx. But then two times one, that's just gonna be one. And so all we need to do now is just integrate cosine x. But integral of cosine, that's just sine. And so we just need to evaluate sine x from zero to one. When we evaluate at zero, sine of zero is just zero. Evaluating at one, we get our final solution of this, and it's just sine of one. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.